Hey, are you looking for a new flooring for your bathroom, but you're not sure what to pick? Or you're thinking about maybe luxury vinyl tile for your bathroom, but you're not sure, is it gonna be all right for a place that gets a lot of water on it? Well, I am going to take you through um, everything you need to know about evaluating luxury vinyl tile for your bathroom. I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons, and I'm gonna tell you the best luxury vinyl tile that you could buy for your bathroom. And I'm also going to give you a full review on the Duralux Performance Luxury Vinyl Tile, which is what I selected for my bathroom. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna tell you what I love most about this tile and what I love least about this tile. So let's get this party started and let's go. Hi, I'm Carrie from Penny Modern and welcome to the best luxury vinyl flooring that you could pick for your bathroom. Um, this is also a product review for the Duralux Performance Vinyl Tile, which I selected for my own bathroom. Um, plus, it's a little bit of a pros and cons about luxury vinyl tile for a bathroom installation. So um, hopefully you will um, like this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you want to have more home decor tips as well as product reviews for your home to make your home beautiful on a budget you can afford, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that way you won't miss any of my new videos whenever they first get published. So you'll be in the know and let's go. So let's just get into the features and benefits right now of the, um, the tile that we actually selected. And it's right here. This is the Duralex Performance um, Travertine Mist tile that I got from Floor and Decor. I want to tell you a few, few of the features and benefits. So um, it's a 12 by 24 inch tile. So it's like a large format tile. Um, the other thing that's cool about this, you really, there's not a lot of space in between the tiles so that like dirt doesn't get stuck in there. And then um, it's five milliliters thick and 12 um, mil wear layer. And then it was around $2.49 a square foot. So that's really not bad. I think a whole box is about 19 square feet. And then it's waterproof and it has a rigid, rigid core. So meaning it's not one of those like floppy tiles. It's like a plank, you know, like a, almost like a laminate or a regular ceramic tile. It is very rigid. Um, but the one that thing that's cool about it is it's really easy to cut. You know, it's not like ceramic. You don't have to get a special saw. Um, and then it has a built-in underlayment that's um, sound reducing as well as, well as antimicrobial. And then it has a foam backing. Um, and then it also ha is scratch and dent resistant. So that is really important if you're putting this in like a high traffic area or you have a bathroom with kids, so you want it to be um, resistant to getting scratches and stuff, but it's not scratch proof. Just, so just make sure, you know, if somebody takes a knife or like drags a sharp piece of furniture along it, it's probably gonna scratch. Um, but um, the other thing is it has a Green Guard Gold VOC certification, which means it's a lower VOC, um, even though it's vinyl, and then it has a lifetime residential warranty. So next so. up, I wanted to show you guys, like there are so many different colors and patterns for this, this tile. Um, and again, it's from Floor and Decor, and I'll link down below um, to where you can buy it online or whatever, but it's got like so many different stone look. Um, you know, there, and I'll show a few here. There's like soft champagne and cityscape. Um, the Volcus marble is really beautiful. Um, it even has like a really dark and moody modern graphite. Um, and they all range from like 219 up to 299 a square foot. So they're all super affordable. So the other thing I love about luxury vinyl tile is it is so easy to install. You don't need a lot of special tools and the tools are really cheap. So like I'm gonna list it on here. Um, there is like, you just need a rubber mallet. Um, we just use like, a, we used a box cutter and just had extra razor blades. Um, but you could get like a utility knife that has razor blades. Just make sure you get extra razor blades because they do get dull after cutting like all this tile, but you literally just like cut it and snap it and that's how you cut the tile. Um, and you need some rulers and right, a right angle ruler, ruler um, and quarter inch spacers. And then also I actually didn't put on here, but there's like a little, um, tile, uh, so they call it a tile pen or tile, uh, pencil that has, um, it's a pencil that basically comes off. Um, and then also, uh, transition strips and, um, 
uh, knee pads, a little saw. So you might need to saw underneath your door jam to make it a little bit um, shorter. So you might need a saw, um, but really that's it. So not too many tools. So I love this tile because it is so easy to cut. So I'll show you guys the picture. It's like I did it myself. It was really easy. I think if you used, you know, if you had more power tools than we do, it would be even easier. You could cut like a circle around the toilet, but we just used a square shape around the toilet. But if you had a fancier saw, you could probably um, cut around the toilet. And then also um, you could get like a special tile saw, but we, we didn't even use one. So, so that's really optional, but it's so easy to cut and you just like slice it and then you like break it in half and that's, that's how you cut it. So super easy. And then the other kind of tip and trick is on the, um, you know, you would install your baseboards over the, um, over the tile because you have to do quarter inch um, space. So you use spacers when you're installing the tile. And then when you install this baseboard, it covers that up that space, but it allows the floor to kind of expand and contract. And then the other thing that we had to do, we took a saw and they actually have a door jam saw that you, we had to um, saw this door jam a little bit, um, make it higher to fit the tile underneath. So that was the other thing. And you might have to do that like for your door or something too. So there is a little bit of prep work needed. So we were actually remodeling our bathroom. So we ended up <clears throat> taking out the old vanity. So that was gone. We took out the, um, these guys, the um, uh, baseboards, and then we took out the toilet. So those are like the main things that you have to remove before you install. Um, I would say if you're leaving your camp, your vanity and it goes like all the way down to the floor you wouldn't need to remove your vanity so that's probably optional but that's really all the prep you need to do if you're installing it over existing tile um so really easy on the prep work especially compared to ceramic tile which requires like a day or two of prep work so i wanted to talk a little bit about the durability we've actually had this installed in our bathroom for about a year um like a year and two months and so I can attest that it's held up well over time. There's really not a lot of scratches and there was a little damage to this corner, but this actually happened when we were installing it. So when you install it, you have to kind of um, pound it a little bit with the um, a rubber mallet. And so we actually damaged that and we could have just put a new one on, but we decided to just kind of go with it because we were in a hurry. Um, so you can kind of see on here, there's really not, there's another one, the corner that we had damaged during the install. So that is something to watch out for. You want to get some extra, um, make sure you get your 10% extra, maybe in 15% to account for that. So now I wanted to show you the waterproofing. Um, so this is just a cup of water and I am going to pour it on and you can kind of see how it, um, beads up. It literally doesn't sink in the tile. It doesn't go anywhere because this is vinyl. It's extremely um, waterproof and the water will just sit on top like that and beat up and it won't go anywhere, even on the seam here. So that is a really nice feature. So I can definitely test that it's really waterproof and you can feel confident that it'll be great for any bathroom installation. So what I love about this the most is that it installs super quick and you can do it yourself. So like we did this entire floor, with, we have a really small bathroom. We did this in maybe like six hours or something like that. Um, so it's a really quick install. You can have new floors in one day. Um, I did also want to review some of the cons. Um, so some of the cons are it's, um, you know, you have to remove the toilet to make it look good because you need to really install the toilet on top of it. Um, or um, you also would need to install like an underlayment if you were um, laying this directly on concrete. So I guess that's a con. Um, but then the biggest con that I think about this is really around resale value. So a lot of home buyers aren't gonna be like, ooh, there's luxury vinyl blank in the bathroom. Um, you know, they're gonna be more excited about maybe just ceramic or marble or travertine or like real stone and stuff like that. So in terms of like the real resale value and buyer appeal, it's not as high as with a uh, regular stone tile. But again, a lot of times people just kind of go for looks. So if you need a quick 
update to your bathroom and you're trying to sell your place, this is a good option because it'll look good, right? Um, so that was the, kind of the, the biggest con. So I hope you guys liked my little review as well as all the pros and cons for luxury vinyl tile for your bathroom. And, um, you know, like I said, the biggest thing I love about it is how easy it is to install and how quick it is to install. So that is the number one reason I would recommend luxury vinyl plank if you're going to do a DIY bathroom renovation. Um, and then also if you, um, want to link down, you can look down below in the description and it has all the different tiles that I mentioned in this video, the Duralux performance tiles. And then, um, also if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and that way other people will find this video just like you that are wondering about luxury vinyl tile. And then also hit that subscribe button. If you want more, you know, home decor tips, home product reviews to make your home beautiful on a budget you can afford, make sure you hit subscribe because then you will be in the know as soon as I post another video that's going to help you do that. So anyway, I will post my next video on the next um, moment and you will be able to see my next video in this series that's all about bathrooms and bathroom remodeling and we'll talk to you next time.